The Canary Islands region had extremely high unemployment in the past few years. Being one out of 276 regions in Europe, the question is, how can they face up to globalisation? Finding the area in which they can be most competitive is the key. Every region um, is able to identify some strategic domains where new opportunities can be identified and supported to build a competitive advantage of the future. We have to be able to help people understand that in 10, 15 years' time, maybe five years' time, my job's going to change and I need to adapt to that. The main problem for the Canary Islands was its isolation. But once they started to see it as an opportunity, the economic recovery kicked in. Research platform Plocan is using the ocean as a source of energy. Being innovative and networking with others helped them create new jobs. Each of these regions are very strong on a certain domain or an industry sector, but they're not strong enough by themselves to be globally competitive. So that's why they look for cooperation with other regions in Europe. But now we get into a next stage in which you have more advanced technology, in which you have the really knowledge-driven worldwide competition to be leaders in sectors. For Plocan, as for many others, investment funds and the European Commission's helping hand were crucial. However good your case might be on the paper, there is always this doubt, you know, but this, will this last? And that's why the Commission is a guarantor also that this is a longer term process, not intervening in terms of what you have to do, but asking the right question. Smart specialization is this how to help uh, regions who maybe don't know really and have not yet achieved this big level of excellency. Investment programs follow these strategies and then they will attract private funding. Many, many people will get new jobs. They will get new skills through that. Helping regions develop 120 smart specialization strategies, supporting research and innovation with funding of 67 billion euros. Investment funds are expected to deliver 350,000 new jobs by the end of 2020. We need to tell human stories to people and tell them what we do to create jobs for them, for their children, for their neighbours, for the citizens as a whole. I think this is the key message.